Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Fallout 76. My name is Camel, and today I'm going to show you where to find a full condition hazmat suit. Now, there may be other locations in which we can find this item, and if you do find another one somewhere else, be sure to let me know where it is. But at the moment, this is the only place I know where to find it, and it's pretty close to Vault 76, and it is a must-have for every single player regardless of your playstyle, unless your playstyle is dying from radiation poisoning. Now, if you are into this kind of stuff, links to my other Fallout 76 videos can be found down in the description, along with links to my social media. Be sure to check all of that out after this video, and after you get this hazmat suit. So to get this piece, we'll need to come to the location known as Poseidon Energy Plant WV West Virginia 06. On the map it can be found right here where I'm standing and it's basically straight south of Flatwoods and Vault 76, just above Ash Heap. At this location there are three chimney stacks. Two are together and one stands by itself on the southwestern side of the power plant. We want to come to this one, the one that's by itself. Across from it, there is a red metal walkway leading up to the roof. On the map, this walkway can be found right here where I'm standing, between the railway track and the marker for the actual location. Once you actually get here, you'll figure out where it is pretty easily. So once you do locate this walkway, of course, make your way all the way to the top. Fair warning, this place will be swarming with enemies, for me it was scorched, so come prepared to deal with them. Now once it levels out, there'll be a long walkway up onto a concrete roof. As soon as we get onto the roof, we want to turn to the right and head south. On the other side of the rooftop platform, there is a temporary workman's office. Head on in there, and at the back corner on top of a box, we have what we came here for the hazmat suit. Of course, be sure to grab that. This will save your life in many, many situations. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, this item is a must have for everyone regardless of how you play. Why? Because it gives a rad resistance of 1000. And if you think that's a lot, it is. A full suit of power armor will give a rad resistance of 1050, but the hazmat suit has the extra effect of granting 98% radiation reduction. Now I would love to explain to you what that means in very technical terms, but it's really overly complicated. The short of it is that despite granting less radiation resistance than a full set of power armor, the hazmat suit will be more beneficial and more protective to you in radioactive areas and also to radiation damage. Radiation damage being one of the damage types, if you remember in Fallout 4 there were certain weapons like the Gamma Gun that actually dealt radiation damage, it didn't deal radiation. Again, like I said, it's pretty complicated, but overall, this thing will protect you more than anything else in the game from both radiation environmentally and radiation in terms of damage. Now, not only that, but it completely prevents any damage and or disease from airborne hazards. So it's a rad suit with basically a built-in gas mask. Now, protection from airborne hazards is much more needed in Fallout 76 than it was in Fallout 4. To be honest, I don't even remember ever needing a gas mask in Fallout 4. However, in Fallout 76, there are plenty of areas with hazardous air, especially in Ash Heap. Having filtration and protection from this type of air is essential. Literally within 10 seconds of walking into Ash Heap, I didn't have a hazmat suit on, instantly caught some lung disease from the crappy air there. And again, there are a lot of areas and even enemies that make the air hazardous to you. So having protection from that is brilliant. There are other things like the spacesuit helmet that will protect you or different types of gas masks, but this hazmat suit has it built in to an amazing radiation protection. So it's a two in one. Now, just like how I don't think I ever use a gas mask in Fallout 4, I don't really ever think I use the hazmat suit in Fallout 4 either. But just like the hazardous air, here in Fallout 76, there are constant encounters with highly irradiated areas. Because Fallout 76 is set much closer to when the bombs dropped, there are many more random, dense, and extremely hazardous pockets and sections with savage radiation levels. Traditionally, you can kind of see a big glowing mess and you're like, that's probably going to be radioactive. But in this, like I was walking up to a random tin can and suddenly it was giving me rads of 50 and you take two steps back and it's gone. So the rads in 76 is a lot more often and it's a lot more random and intense. And the really irradiated areas are really irradiated areas in Fallout 76. Like for example, if I jump into this water, I'm taking rads damage of over 40 rads per second. But if I slap on the hazmat suit, it goes down to four rads per second. 
So before equipping it, I would have been dead in a matter of about 10 seconds, but now that I've equipped the hazmat suit, I can swim around in here for, you know, a few minutes. It gives me enough time to do whatever it is I have to do in this incredibly unhealthy environment. Another example would be I had a quest inside this power plant reactor, the rads were eating me up pretty quick so I put on the hazmat suit and it took the rads down from 10 rads per second to less than 1 rad per second, giving me all the time I needed to do what I needed to do. Which was, uh, get footage for this video and make up a story about having a quest in here. Nah, seriously, I did have a quest in here. And whether you believe that or not, point being, this thing is essential for helping you get through the incredibly dangerous radioactive environments of Fallout 76. And basically for the layman, just the easiest boiling down of what I've experienced from wearing the hazmat suit, when I put it on, it took the rads from 40 to 4. So I'm going to say that it reduces the radiation you receive by 90-ish percent. So you have to come and get this thing again, no matter how you play, you will need this at many points. It can protect you from rads and airborne hazards. Now sadly, and kind of annoyingly, when you equip the hazmat suit, it will unequip all of the armor you were wearing. So you can't wear armor and the hazmat suit at the same time. I understand why they did this because it would be way too overpowered if you could run around with the most beast radiation protection and also the most beast ballistic and energy damage resistance at the same time. But what's annoying is when you have to go and re-equip all the armor pieces you were wearing, trying to figure out which arm piece you had on, rummaging through your bag, was it the wooden left leg or the metal left leg? Maybe it's the sturdy raider left leg, uh, I can't remember. But that's just me. Now I did also test this in case you are wondering, you cannot wear an outfit over the top of the hazmat suit. So with other types of armor, you can wear an outfit which will aesthetically change the look of your character to whatever that outfit is, but you'll still have all the armor on underneath it. You can't do that with the hazmat suit. I wanted to have the hazmat suit on, but also wear the space suit over the top of it, so I looked spacey and cool, but I was also getting the radiation resistance. Sadly, that doesn't work. But at least it does look kind of cool, and its aesthetic has actually been modeled off of the spacesuits that the Soviet cosmonauts wore during the Cold War. So all in all, the hazmat suit is something you need, so go and get it as soon as you can, it protects from radiation and airborne hazards, but sadly it won't protect you from the fact that the hazmat suit is pretty rad. Please come on, don't do it. It cool. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for acquiring the hazmat suit in full condition. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you will be very interested in checking out my other Fallout 76 videos that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there, in the old description, you can also find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you would like to support the channel in a more personal way, be sure to subscribe, or you can become a patron on Patreon, or sponsor the channel right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.